Everything you need to know about products and services that can improve your life. This is Experts on Call on CL 650. And we're back. This is Experts on Call on CL 650. I'm Joanne Sutton. Today, we've been talking about insurance. And joining us in the studio from Intact Insurance, we have Patrick Magnuson along with Keith Story. And also joining us is Andrew Tablotny of Laguerre Pelling Insurance. And, you know, it's not all doom and gloom in the insurance world. There's a lot of positive uh, topics that we can cover. Today we talked about insurance policies for landlords and ten tenants uh, on both sides of the coin. We've talked about umbrella policies as well. Uh, now we get to talk a little bit more about how all of you fit into the local community because I know it's not always about business, mm -hmm. even though your social conscious is part of your business, but uh, let's talk a little bit about community involvement and the Intact Foundation. So Patrick, do you want to start with that? Sure. Uh, what, Intact has a number of uh, core values, but one of them is being socially responsible. And to that end, uh, we're pretty proud of, of the Intact Foundation. Uh, it was, it was uh, founded, I believe, in uh, 2003. And since then, we've probably put about $4 million a year that we've donated to support programs and different initiatives that help our community a better place. Uh, Places like the Covenant House uh, in Vancouver, as well as in Toronto, the Radio House in, in Calgary. Uh, there's Eva's initiatives in the YMCA, YMCA in Toronto. And basically, you know, these organizations, they, they provide homeless youth with a range of services, uh, places to stay, counseling, vocational support. These are all things that are very important to us. So basically, as a corporation, you've just chosen a couple of areas uh, on how you can give back to the community. So youth at risk is one, mm -hmm. and uh, climate change was the other one, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, climate change obviously has a, a big impact on, on our day-to-day -day operations. Uh, I mean, we, we see what, what happens uh, with increased uh, severity and frequency of, of storms and uh, and the like. And we, we seem to be suffering a drought in, in the lower mainland, so which is... A little bit unusual, but uh, this is sort of the new the new normal. So, to that end, we need to figure out well, how much is this the new normal, and what can we do to to deal with this, uh, to try to protect our customers, not just from when they have a loss, to protect them from having a loss, and how can we impact climate change? So, we've we've partnered with the University of Waterloo and uh, done a number of interesting research projects, and the, the big one is the climate change adaptation product project. Uh, it's being led by the School of Environment, Enterprise, and Development, and it's based in Waterloo. Uh, and so they've, they've actually come up with about 20 different recommendations and, and specific projects to help um, sort of impact climate change uh, in a positive way. So, you know, interesting things like depaving paradise, which is removing the pavement at some schools and, and replacing it with more permeable surfaces, whether it's, uh, you know, lawns and playgrounds and... Uh, or even if you do have to have sort of something that is paved, and there are different kinds of paving stones that can have um, sort of grass in between them. So uh, all of a sudden, all this water, which normally collects on an impermeable surface, can now go into the ground where it's supposed to be, uh, you know, replenish our aquifers and, and the rest, and, and also, you know, not cause this overland uh, uh, flooding. And lots of other interesting things like, uh, you know, green alleys, uh, living shorelines, which of course is uh, be a big one out here. If you have a living shoreline, it'll prevent erosion from happening. Uh, or certainly it will maybe not prevent, but it will reduce the impact of erosion over time. Absolutely. Uh, Bioswales, rain gardens, retention basements, steam na stream naturalization. So instead of having like a, a concrete aqueduct, having a nice curved rolling stream with lots of bends and, and, and the rest of it. I mean, And a that, natural shoreline like with, you know, rocks or That's right. And you, and, and if environmental you have a, growth. When you or... have a bendy stream, water doesn't go down it as fast. Mm -hmm. So I think there's all those kinds of impacts that uh, we're starting to realize. Uh, I know, just find it really interesting that um, as a, you know, the largest insurance company in Canada has, has taken on uh, this level of social responsibility. We certainly don't read about that in the news, or no, it's, it's just nice to know that you, you're committed. Well, thank you, yeah. And, uh, you know, Intact is also a proud sponsor of Raise the Roof, which I know is also near and dear to uh, to your heart. So. Yeah, we're involved with that every year, actually. Mm -hmm. so that's for, the buy a toque. That's right, yeah. So for us, I mean, it's it's great for our, our employees. We, we buy toques online, or toques or socks or neck warmers or whatever, whatever happens to be that year. You know, we, we buy them ourselves, and we have the logo, and we can kind of support it that way. But it's also interesting because we can buy it and then choose to have it donated. So I might spend my $10, buy my toque, but I don't necessarily need a new toque every year. 
but I'm still happy to buy that toque every year and if and then maybe have it donated to uh, someone who does need it. That's right. You know, and, far, and as far as our employees go, they can also buy it. But then once a year, they get to actually go out into the public and sell the toques. So so if you happen to be out there in a, on a drizzly February day and you see a bunch of intact employees selling toques and uh, neck warmers and socks, it's for Raise the Roof. Um, and I think that really... It touches home for a lot of our employees. It does. And Patrick, didn't Intact do something locally with the speed skating clubs? Yeah, for sure. We uh, Intact is a sponsor of Speed Skating Canada, and it's a really neat sponsorship because it, it really rewards success. Um, so during the World Cup racing season, every time one of our long track or short track speed skaters reaches the podium, Intact donates $1,000 to a grassroots oh. speed skating club. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. So a couple of years ago, I actually personally had the pleasure of, of presenting checks to... Uh, I think it was the Port Coquitlam Lightning, the Ridge Meadows Racers, and the Langley Blades down at the uh, Richmond uh, Speed Skating Oval. And uh, the kids at that time, they also got to meet uh, some of our 2010 gold medalists, uh, Guillaume Bastille and Francois Amelin. Oh, excellent. Yeah, it was just, it's a really interesting experience. Like I said, it, it rewards excellence on, on the world stage by, by uh, giving back on a grassroots level. Intact will, will pay uh, sort of a paid day off for every employee who, who goes out uh, and, and does some sort of volunteer activity. So e- each branch, each region, each department will typically do sort of a team building event where they go out and whether it's uh, 10 of them or 15 of them and, and uh, donate some time to a, a charitable organization. I know that I've gone with my Calgary colleagues a few times over the last couple of years to uh, do some good work at the drop-in center there, which when you, when you think about that, I mean, there's just about 11,000 intact employees or IFC employees, uh, intact financial corporation. So if even half of them take a day to volunteer, that works out to about 15 years of employee time that's donated to volunteers wow. annually by intact. So it's a, it, it adds up quickly. It's a bit of a staggering number, uh, but I think more importantly for the employees, we feel great that uh, Intact will support us, allow us to, to go donate and, and, and spend that quality time. Well, I think it's great to know that you actually are out in the community as well. You're not just number crunching and mm-hmm. solving earthquake and water damage claims all day. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that you're human as well. Yeah. Now, Andrew, on behalf of, um, of the brokers being involved in communities, uh, what can you tell us about your participation and what you're involved in as well uh, on behalf of Laguerre Pelling? Well, I think I, I, I want to speak to all broker, for all brokers. I think brokers tend to be altruistic, and we don't you know, we don't toot our own horns. Uh, you know, I know a lot of brokers participate in their communities, um, are involved in various ways uh, supporting that. Uh, the uh, National Association that we have a what was called a Bit Blanket uh, program, where we donate blankets to uh, government officials, where they can donate it to uh, you know. Uh, Homeless or the needy, right, or in their community, and we donate them to uh, ski hills for them for people people being brought down by there. Uh, so you would do that, and you would collect them and then hand them off. No, no, and... they're, they're actual blanket made with a pur- the purple bip. Oh, so it's, excellent! So they're, oh, okay. they're actually branded for the, for insurance brokers. But sure. but myself, uh, my wife and I, we've always been very very community minded. In fact, my card, my business card says right, all our business cards say community minded, customer committed. Um, we've been, you know. We've been doers ever, ever since we first got married and started having kids. You know, the usual coaching all the kids. I, you know, if I if I didn't, I love my job, but if I if I had an, if I could do anything else, I'd love to just be able to coach kids. I coached fastball for 18 years. I did the hockey, the soccer, and you know, the kids uh, basketball in, in elementary school because the teachers couldn't do it. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, we've you know started a neighborhood watch. Uh, my wife did safety traffic. Uh, she's a school trustee, which she gets paid for. But you know, and you also help but, contribute to dry grads in your local community. And yeah, mm-hmm. we did did that uh, road safety. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I've been. I was past president of the Brokers Association, uh, for, uh, which was an eight-year commitment. There, uh, I'm still on an ICBC committee that's been going going for four years to, on their new four four hundred million dollar restoration project on their computer system, just to make sure that they get it right. So, we always want to have brokers there because uh, the the uh, the number crunchers sometimes uh, have different ideas on how to make things work versus uh, what actually has to happen in the in the trenches. So, so we uh, yeah and uh, and some along the lines of what Intact does. I mean, obviously on a smaller scale, but like I you know I I support the food bank here in Richmond quite a bit, and uh, I actually have my employees go in and you know at Christmas time and help them when they're busy, and I pay them to to go over there, and, and I think it's a good. Pay them to volunteer for the day. Yeah, and I, you know, and I think it's a good way for the young people to, to, to get in touch with that sort of aspect as well, because mm-hmm. you know, it's too much, too little of it goes on now, and it's a way to, and they come back and they're quite, they're quite energized and quite impressed by the, mm-hmm. the process. Absolutely. Well, thank you all for your contributions. You are listening to Experts on Call on CL 650. I'm Joanne Sutton, and joining us in the studio today 
We're the insurance experts featuring Patrick Magnuson and Keith Story from Intact Insurance and Andrew Tablotny of Legear Pelling Insurance. And if you want to find out more about the products that Intact provides and the work they do in your community, you can visit their website at intact.ca. And Andrew, as a broker, if someone has questions, how can they reach you? Call me at uh, 604-276-2474 or there's uh, easy access on my website, which is at legearpelling.com. Well, I'm confident we've given our listeners a lot to think about with today's show. In some cases, we may have caused them to think that they need to take immediate action when it comes to their insurance. Gentlemen, thank you for your contributions today. Thanks, Thank you. This is Experts on Call. Thanks for joining us, and thanks for listening to CL 650.